Amelie, Coach Amelie, and welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time that you are tuning in, thank you for being here. On this channel, we talk about accelerating healing, growth, uh, manifestation, transformation, law of attraction, and so much more. So thank you for being here. Here, you are loved, you are welcome, and you are accepted as you are. This video is coming in strong. I went to the gym this morning and I've asked, what is it that I should share today? And it has something to do with the one shift that you can make to start really manifesting what it is that you want. Um, so let's stay tuned. We're going to get dive right into it. So first of all, how are you? Second of all, thank you for all of, I think there's 813 of you right here and welcome to those. I am actually, see what I'm doing? I am saying thank you in advance for the souls that are actually going to find my video. I am thankful. I am believing that this message is reaching the right people at the right time. So it's so much love and gratitude. So I want to share a little story before we get started. About two days ago, I was part of a group, a manifestation group, and we did like an activation for road opening. And in that, we were writing down, so I do invite you to do that. I want to invite you, if you want to start manifesting things into your life, first of all, I want you to really get clear on what is it that you desire, what is it that you desire? Oftentimes, we don't take the time to ask ourselves. We're so busy with working and family and running around and so forth uh, that sometimes we're not clear. So I do invite you to get quiet and take a moment to really ask your heart, your soul, what do I want? And tune in because sometimes you might think you want something, but when in fact your soul wants a completely different uh, story. There's my puppy right there, Chance. <laughs> so ask yourself what you want. So in the in the road opening what we did is we wrote down i wrote down everything that i'm thankful for in the present tense okay so i want you to write down like i'm so thankful as if it's already happened i want you to really really list everything that you are thankful for here's the thing that the shift that i that i was called before so i wrote so many things that i'm so thankful and while i wrote them i closed my eyes and I was with the feeling of the actual things that I'm wanting to call into my life, but as if it's already there. So I, the one shift that you can do, there's a couple of things. Number one, understand that what you desire, what you want, wants you. I'm going to say that again. What you want, wants you. Meaning if there's a desire, if the seed of this desire in your heart, it means that not only you're capable to achieve it or to become the person that is capable to step into that, uh, it, it, it's, it's just part of your soul alignment, just so you know. So before we went on and continued with the activation, I we were asked to tune in and ask in order for me to receive all that I want. So I want you to ask yourself, I want you to close your eyes, perhaps pause this video after, and ask in order for me to manifest everything that I want, whether it's the relationship, the health, the care, the career, the financial abundance, the friendship, the adventures. What is it that I need to do or to release to make this happen? And I want you to tune in. You don't have to be an intuitive. Everyone has this ability to connect with your soul. Everyone has that. Some of us have it more developed than others because we've just practiced more. But I guarantee you, your soul, your heart, always is always communicating with you. So for me, the one shift that's going to make a big difference in your life, if you're anything like me, and a lot of people have this core wound, is I used to think, for the longest time in my life, I had this underlying feeling that I of, of low self-worth. Um, I didn't feel worthy of receiving beautiful things. And I know it sounds crazy and I don't know where it came from because it's not like I was ever told that I wasn't worthy. I don't know what happened. Uh, I remember when I was, it was my 30th birthday party, um, my husband had organized a surprise birthday party. People flew 
people came to the restaurant and I remember sitting at the restaurant and everyone was there and clapping and singing and within myself I felt so weird I felt so unworthy that people took the time people took money and they actually made an effort to come and see me so I remember that moment was quite pivotal because when I realized that then I felt really sad that I wasn't able to feel worthy of receiving that love that I so freely give to others. So the one shift that you can do right now to start manifesting is I, I really want to invite you to and ask yourself, do you feel worthy of receiving everything that your heart's desire is calling? Do you feel worthy of that healthy, fit, vibrant body that you are being called to step into and I'm not talking about six abs and lean machine that's that's not it do you feel worthy of living in your vibrancy body yes or no I know for myself that has been a struggle that at the underneath underneath it all is somehow there's a part of me that felt that it wasn't safe to be in a healthy vibrant body and I know that might sound weird, but this is where the brain, this is where the mind, this is where transformational work is like revolutionary. Because once you start uncovering the subconscious beliefs that we have made up based on past experience and trauma and the way we internalize these situations, they form our belief. And sometimes we are conscious of it and sometimes we are very unconscious of it. Uh, I remember one time I, I was really working on, like I was, a, I was at a part of my life where I just felt, I thought like if I could lose weight, I'd be happier, right? Um, maybe you're there. If I could do this, if, I, if only this, then I would be happier. If I uh, achieved this, then I would be happier. I was part of this conscience, cons constant search of a happiness outside of myself. And if I only could do this, then I would get there. So I was constantly living in a state of, I wasn't truly fully happy. And it was just wasn't feeling safe. And I remember I asked myself, like, what is it? Like I was saying affirmation and, and one time I remember it came out, it said, I'm, I said, I'm worthy of like, I'm, lo I'm worthy of losing weight. And then what came directly was like, I'm worthy. And I was like, what do you mean? I'm worthy. I know I'm worthy, but like unconsciously I wasn't. So the one shift that you can do is really get clear. Do you really clear? Do you really know that you are worthy of everything? If the answer is yes, without a shadow of a doubt, that you know it and you feel it, then your job to manifest more as a powerful manifester co-creator, which you are always manifesting, is to um, do your healing work as it shows up. And when you're done healing and when you transmute is continue to raise your vibration so you're not bypassing, you raise your vibration and really practice maybe once a day, multiple times a day, literally being in the experience of everything that you are calling forward and being grateful and being attuned to what ideas, what insights, anything that comes as a result to help you because there are going to be some actions that you will be guided that is going to lead you to those beautiful manifestations that are waiting for you in the vortex. Now, if you're here and you're saying, Emily, I don't feel worthy, don't you worry. There is no problem. I have been there. I have been there most of my life and that's something that I have deconstruct. So the one thing that you can do that really will help you shift your manifestation is literally give a voice to the part of you that doesn't feel worthy. So the, the type of work that I do is, is integrative mindfulness. It's literally welcoming this little part of you that says, I don't feel worthy and say, it's okay. You are welcome here. You are allowed here. I want to feel with you. I want to give you voice to you. I want that part of you to express. So this is what I do with my clients. Give a voice to that part of you that doesn't feel worthy. We're not trying to shame that part. We're not trying to suppress that part. We're trying to allow that part to fully express itself and feel the emotion. If you are just feeling the emotion without attaching to a story, the emotions is, are going to last around 90 seconds. 90 seconds, nine zero. So as long as you stay with the emotion that comes and you do not go into a story of why you think you're not worthy, that's not where I scan. What we're asking is to be with the part of you that doesn't feel. Once you've expressed maybe whatever is coming up, 
I want you to take a deep breath. And I want you to just embody your most loving, authentic, healed, self-compassionate version of yourself. The your the version of you that's already done the healing, the version of you that 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 is ever so loving. That version of you, I want you to know that that version of you exists. That version of you exists. It's not a fairy tale. It's not a dream. That version of you exists. And that version of you is always with you. I like to call that your higher self. And your higher self is not separated from you, even though it feels like it. I know that I remember that when I learned this concept, it brought so much peace. Okay. So I hope this video of a value, I have so much to talk about. Please let me know in the comment. Not only was this a video was a value, I would love to hear it mean a lot. I would love to hear what are you taking away from this video? If you have any questions, please comment down below. I am so passionate to help people literally transform their life. Uh, and I, I'm here to tell you that if I can do it, so can you. I actually have manifested uh, amazing opportunities and financial abundance this month and adventures. Like I'm just really tapping into something magnificent that as that I've always known was there. But a lot of my work has been with 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 being with the part of me that wasn't feeling worthy of it all and then embracing that. So I hope it serves you. If you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for taking a second to like this video. If you would like to stay tuned for my next videos, I upload quite regularly right now. I do invite you to hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next update. And thank you so much for watching. You are beautiful, you are amazing, and you are worthy. And if you do not feel that yet, that's okay because you're on your way and I'm here to cheer you on. Sending so much love. See you soon. Bye.